Today I am going to make a video showing you how you can make your own fringe top. So this is going to be a do-it-yourself do video. I am like obsessed with everything that has fringe or feathers. I love to wear feather earrings a lot, like right now I'm wearing feather earrings again. And um, just basically, I just love the Native American... I love feathers. And also in stores you see a lot of tops and shirts that have fringe on it and you see also a lot of shirts that have, you know, like a Native American print or do we call it um, an Aztec print. So the Native American look is going to be really in style this year. Yeah, it's so simple to do and you don't have to buy a new shirt to make to give it a fringe look. If you don't like cutting shirts and stuff, you can just buy a shirt that has fringe on it, but it's so much cheaper to just use a shirt that you have laying around in your cl closet. Just use that shirt and try the fringe look on it. And what I personally love to do is use shirts that have like a cool print on it. So I don't really like to use shirts that are, you know, like a basic shirt that is just um black or white you know just like in one color i like to use shirts that already have a print on it okay so the shirt that i'm going to be cutting is this one. Oh, the sun this is the shirt it's a pretty shirt on itself but because it has like a um aztec print on it i decided to make it a fringe top so I'm going to make fringe on this shirt. So what you're going to be needing is one, of course, your shirt, a pair of fabric scissors. You could also use like a marker to mark where you want to start cutting, but that's optional. So let's get started. What you want to do is you want to lay your shirt flat and make sure that it doesn't have like a lot of wrinkles. And then what I'm first going to be cutting is this bottom part. I don't like to see the seam at the bottom part because in my opinion it's not that flattering. So I'm going to be cutting that and I'm going to be cutting the top and bottom fabric at once. Next, I am going to be cutting the sleeves and I'm also just going to be following the seam of the sleeve, so this part. And what I love about this shirt is that it doesn't have a seam over here. You know, like most shirts, they have a seam over here and then you have a seam on the end of the sleeve. But yeah, I don't know, I just love that this shirt doesn't have a, se um, a seam on this side. So I'm just going to follow the seam at the end of my sleeve and I'm again going to cut the bottom and top fabric at once. Also cut the other sleeve. Okay, so now I'm just going to gently pull on the sleeves and this is going to make the sleeves look a lot better and not like you've just cut it. And now it's time to start with the fringe part but before I'm going to do that I'm going to cut the tags because they're going to be in the way if I'm, um, if I'm going to be cutting the fringe. And now it's time to decide how far you want to be cutting the fringe. And you could make this a crop top and make the fringe pretty far. So um, you could let the fringe start like over here. So then it would be like a crop top. Or you could follow the print of this shirt. So you could stop the fringe or end the fringe over here. So where the print stops, you could stop with the fringe. In my opinion, that's a little bit too short for the shirt. So I'm going to end the fringe over here. So where this brown um, figure starts. 
so then you're just going to cut the fringe and I'm just going to cut the top and bottom part at the same time again and it doesn't have to be you know like really neat or precise and you could make really thick fringe or really thin fringe Okay, so now you have this, and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to check if I'm happy with the thickness of the fringe. As you can see, I've cut this fringe a little bit thinner than this fringe, and that's okay. It's, um, it doesn't have to go perfect at once, so I'm going to be cutting this one in half again. And now you want to gently pull on all the fringe, so it won't look like you've just cut it. You can just grab some fringe at the same time. And that's it! Now it's time to try it on. So this is the t-shirt on. As you can see, I haven't cut the neck part. If you have had a shirt that is more, you know, like tighter at your neck, then you could also cut it like this. And just go and watch my how to cut your own t-shirt video to see how you can do that. And um, I did cut the sleeves and they are, in my opinion, a lot more flattering. So yeah, those are the sleeves and let me stand back. This is the shirt. And this is the back part, fringe all over, and wait, let me lower the camera angle, like this. And it is a little bit time consuming, but in the end it's all worth it because you haven't spent like maybe 20 bucks or 20 euros on a new fringe top. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And if you have any requests for videos, then I would love to know them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!